Oh sure, everyone makes fun of Aquaman now, but just remember, when DC was getting one of their first cartoons on television, it was the Superman and Aquaman Power Hour. That's right, there was a time where DC thought this guy had more crossover appeal than Batman. Just sink that in. Anyway, we're looking at the uh, original Superman and the Aquaman from the McFarlane Superpowers line. Taking a look at Aquaman first, and the details on him are really faded out. I don't know what it is about the paint they used, or perhaps the brightness of it, but just everything here is kind of a mush. The sculpt of detail is nice, like on the shirt, the belt's nice, the green is good. The head, I really just don't like the blonde they used. The beard kind of disappears into his skin. But the best thing I can say about him is he does come with his trident. It goes into his hand like so. But this gets into another thing, which is why is McFarlane so weird about who gets accessories in this line? Aquaman got one, Deathstroke got one, Nightwing always gets his batons, and yet Wonder Woman won't get anything, and the Peacemaker 3-pack won't get any weapons despite all three of those characters being synonymous with weapons. It's really strange to me, but at the very least, Aquaman holds the trident well. You can get him into a few different good poses with it. It's not that I dislike this Aquaman, it's much more... This Aquaman is really struggling to get past a mid-presentation. Conversely, you have Wave 1 Superman here, which is actually really nice. I've already looked at the new 52 version, the more updated version of this figure, but I don't know, there's still something about this guy. Like, the colors are wonderful. Even though I didn't like it at first, the blue dots of the eyes are okay. I do think it's the weakest part of this figure. But the red trunks really help break up the blue on like on the new 52 version and the cape still looks really nice unfortunately there is a hole in the cape from where i guess for wave one they would zip tie the cape to the plastic tray but when that's the biggest issue i have with the figure it goes a long way to say like this is a really good stylized superman i enjoy this one a great bit and i don't know if it's because it's good or if it's because i opened him right after i opened this aquaman comparing these two and I didn't realize how different they were. The new 52 Superman has a different head sculpt, one that's a lot more sharp and angular. I really prefer the head on this Superman to this Wave 1 version, but the Wave 1 version, the blue being brighter, the red of the cape being a little bit more vibrant, and the red trunks helping break up the entire outfit makes me really prefer him as my display Superman. Of course, this Superman's going to stick around, but I'm just saying, I have a Supermobile that's going to need a pilot, and between these two, he's probably going to be inside that vehicle. This collection is really starting to fill up nicely, and I can't wait to get a few more figures and characters in here to really diversify the shelf. Um, I think next up is probably going to be Darkseid, for another reason than just we can't go much further out in terms of lateral, so we need to start going up vertical. Uh, with all that said, though, the Aquaman is fine. If you can get him for cheap... I'd say he can help build up the Justice League. But if I had to choose between my Superman, I do think this Wave 1 Superman is the better figure, and I think it looks better with the shelf due to his more vibrant colors, and due to the fact that, for the most part, these are all Silver Age-adjacent figures and characters and designs, and having the new 52 Superman really does just feel a little bit awkward.